So our next presentation will be synthetic generators for cloning social network data. And the presenter is Arad Mohammed uh, Ali, right? <laughs> Let's welcome the presenter. Hi, everyone. I'm Arad Mohammed Ali, and I'm going to present our work about synthetic generator for cloning social networks data. Our work has been done in University of Central Florida with contribution of Sandia National Labs. So as we all know, social networks have been attracted many users. Thus, it become a good uh, source for researchers to study and model larger scale human behaviors. So researchers from different disciplines, such as computer scientists, sociology, economics, have invented a lot of algorithms. And definitely they would need a good platform to evaluate their work. In. The best platform is to evaluate their work on the real uh, network, but there are several problems associated with the real network. One problem is that access data is limited due to privacy reasons. In addition, if we have this data, resharing data is rarely possible. Also, it becomes time consuming to obtain multiple snapshots of data, special for studies that need this kind of, of uh, network over a long period of time. Thus, the solution is to have a synthetic network that model the property that appear in real graphs. Synthetic networks are really a good source uh, in uh, providing a common testing environment for researchers to evaluate e their work against each other. In addition, it can generate a, a broad spectrum of networks for evaluation. But it, it may not accurately reproduce properties in a human network, such as the node attributes, the homophily, the skull-free structure, and the dyadic closure. So, really, the goal is to have a synthetic network that look like the real networks. Several properties that can be appear in real graph is having the power load of degree distribution, as shown in the picture, when we have more nodes having a higher degree than any other kind of distribution. Another property is having a community structure, in addition to a small diameter, so when the network grow, that don't mean we should have a big diameter. Actually, the diameter in real network is shrink in size. The other property is that neither of the uh, available synthetic generator have been addressed is having a node attributes. So nodes has attributes associated to them in some of the real networks. In addition to the different relationship between the, the nodes in the network. In our contribution, we introduced two methods for, for a clone social network data set. Our first generator, we call it ASG, it stands for Attribute Synthetic Generator, while the other one is the Multilink Generator. What they can model, the first generator can model the, non, the node attributes, uh, which also can be called as features. The second one can model the multiplex network when we have a different relationship as uh, I stated earlier. We have uh, uh, addressed several uh, applications that can be done using our generator. One of them that they can be used in cloning a private data set for debugging purposes, in addition to re uh, simulating realistic human population with an agent-based simulator, evaluating collective classification algorithms, community detection, and link prediction on multiplex networks. Some of the related work that have been done, some of the classical models that we all know is the Erodus and Rene, which based on the random graph. The other model is the uh, Barabasi and Albert model that used um, to the, that generate the network based on preferential attachment, which means nodes are preferred to attach to a higher degree nodes. Uh, the Watts model, that model the small word uh, model when we have a small diameter and a high clustering coefficient. Some of the well-known recent model is the RMAT that based on matrix recursion to generate the network, the LFR for community detection, and Wang et al. generator that our work based on that. Neither of all these work have been uh, used the multi-link generator and the attributes, and all of them were like to, uh, ha has spent a lot of time devoting to the problem of modeling the network and uh, rather than cloning a specific data set, what we've done here in this work. So we will go a little bit in our proposed method 
We will describe the method by one generator that based on our work. I'm sorry, that wor our work based on it. So one atoll generator uh, have both used the preferential attachment, so the network have been grown gradually, the preferential attaching the node to a higher degree node, and this way they would have a power law distribution. So we will start with few nodes, and by the time passed, we would attach more links and nodes until the final structure of the network. Several parameters that have been used by one generator is the alpha, which can control the link density of the network, in addition to the homophily, which means the tendency of nodes to attach to the same community rather than any other communities. In our generator, we use a dynamic homophily that can be seen in this equation. And in this way, we would what we have is that uh, in a stage of using a, a, a static homophily, we use a dynamic that uh, look like what's going on in a real graph. Our first generator, some of the inputs that we need to for our generator to generate the network is the number of nodes, the number of features that each node has, the feature similarity vector that we use to connect the nodes ba uh, based on their features, community numbers, the homophily, and the link density so, ju just as the one generator. So how the network generate? The network generated into process, the initial network are constructed based on the homophily and the preferential attachment, just as the one generator. The other part that we done is the node are connected based on the feature similarities. So we will describe the second part since th this is our contribution. So since we, uh, we first initialized the attributes to follow a normal distribution, we have a target statistics which was I said that we, we use it to, cl to clone it. We use the target stats that we used as an example from an online game called a game X as shown by this table. So the skills represent the attributes that each node has. And the statistic, the first quartile, the third, median, max, skewness, the standard deviation, and the actual mean are the statistics across the whole network. The generated attributes are tuned to match this statistic using some stochastic optimization that I will go through them later. Our fitness function that we use it in our stochastic optimization algorithms is the average correlation coefficient between the target statistic that you just see and the generated a statistic in our network based on this equation, where the R is the correlation coefficient, X for sure the target statistic, and why is our generated star statistic. We, as I, I said, we, the optimization algorithm that we implement is the particle swarm optimization and the genetic algorithm, since they have been used widely as an optimization, uh, optimization techniques. I'll give more detail in our multi-link generator. So in multi-link generator, as I said, there is different relationship between the nodes. So what we start is saying that the nodes first having a main links and uh, later we would have secondary links attached to this node with addition to having the main link. So if the main link is selected based on a vector that holds the probabilities of link occurrence. So for example, if we have three links, we can put their probability of recurrence as shown. The secondary links hold, uh, for example, for the first row, if, like, if the main link is number one, what is the probability of having link two beside one would be a 0.6 and link three beside one would be 0.3. For selecting the main nodes, we fed the vector to a function with the number of links that we have. And this function would decide based on this probability which link would be chosen as the main link. If it happened and no link has satisfied this, the condition in this function, the main link is said to be the link with the highest frequency. This, the, to select the secondary link, we use the same function, but instead of passing that vector, we pass the matrix of the uh, uh, occurrence of the links. And if no link satisfies the condition, what we do is that we choose the main link to be, I'm sorry, the secondary link to be as same as the main link. In this way, we would have a graph with, with a weight. We connect the nodes first by the main link, 
later based on, bond, uh, on a bond chance parameter that govern how many secondary links are formed, we, will, we connect the node by, with the secondary links. We put this parameter just since there is uh, some randomness in the process, it have been used to control how many de we desire to have a secondary links in s beside the main links. We continue to, to process the process until the whole network is generated. We will go to show our result. First, we will show our attribute synthetic generator. We would compare the network statistics across our generator, some real data set, and the previous generator, generator of one. We will show the node degree distribution, the power law exponent, and we compare the performance of the particle swarm optimization with the genetic algorithm. In the paper, we had put also the running time comparison, but because of the time, I just omitted from here. For the multi-link generator, we will show the network statistics comparison, and as, a, as I said, due to time limitations, there is more results in the paper. The data set that I'm going to describe first, the DPLPA that we use it to compare to with the, our first generator, which include a collaboration network between authors in six different computer science disciplines. The other games, uh, I'm sorry, the other data set that we use is game X, which shows uh, 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 the relationship between a players in a massively multiplayer online game that have been provided uh, by Sandia National Labs. We also used Travian data set that have been provided by the University of Arkansas. Both game X and Travian data set has a uh, two different kind of links. Because of that, we use it to evaluate our second generator. They have the message and attack links. Also, they have multiple snapshots. And since our work is static, we use just some of their snapshots. Here, the, uh, the, this column, I don't know. Hold on. Just one second. OK. This column are showing the, the real data set. And here is our work with the attribute synthetic generator. And the third column is showing the Wang et al. generator. We compare the number of nodes. It's fixed since it, it is an input to our network. And the number of links, the network diameter, the average degree distribution, the average clustering coefficient, and the average path length. We can see that our work were almost able to model what's going on in the real graph in terms of the number of links and the average degree. It also show a good, uh, just as one ETL generator in having the same path link. The only thing that it, it didn't do that well is in the average clustering coefficient since in the one ETL generator, they didn't introduce the dyadic closure and we, d we didn't pay attention to that since what we care about is to having the same degree. The diameter of our network is smaller than the real one, which considered good if we have a big, date, uh, a big network with a really small diameter, our network can perform really good in this case of data. Here we show that degree distribution. Our work is a little bit harder to distinguish from the real one. The orange line is the Wang et al. generator. Because of that, we just cut it to see the degrees till the 60. And we can see that our work, which is the blue line, are almost be able to model what's going on in the real uh, graph, which is the green line. In terms of the power law exponent, we, uh, we uh, provide the power law exponent in addition to the R square, which represents the goodness of fit. We can see that our generator, which is the second one, is almost the same as the real data set. The, here's the part that of a cloning data. So this is the fitness function from the particle swarm <coughs> optimization and the genetic algorithm. We can see that both methods were able to achieve a very high correlation coefficient with the real data set, which that means we were able to cl clone the statistics. And uh, we can see that particle swarm optimization have diverged faster than the genetic algorithm. And, and in, in addition, the genetic algorithm would require a little bit time. Thus, we opted to use particle swarm optimization in all, all our experiments. For the network statistic, 
uh, for our second generator, we compared with the game X, as I said, and the Trivian data set. What I forgot to say is that we, we did an average of three runs because of that, we put the, the uh, standard deviation as well. Our work were able to model the diameter and the average path length uh, for the real network, and they are almost the same. In our conclusion, we introduce a new generator that offer important functionality of our existing software. They were able to clone social media data set as we seen in the fitness function. We were able to use the node feature to connect the node in addition to have a multiplex network. We made our code available on GitHub so any other researchers can use our work. In addition, th that we show in our results is that ASG were able to match the feature distribution the degree distribution, the, node, uh, the number of links, and the path length. The MLG network were able to, ma to match the link type, the diameter, and the path length. For a future work, for sure we'd like to introduce a dyadic closure, and we believe that will improve the clustering coefficient. In addition, we would like to have a dynamic network generator to simulate multiple snapshots. Thank you, and if you have any questions. Yes. This is a good question. Actually, one generator have used the features, but in, a K, in the, the attributes that we used, but they use it as a binary. So what they use it is for uh, evaluating their, uh, their works on uh, trust evaluation. So they use, each node has like a group of features. And if it, if it has ones, that means this is a trustable person. So they have a kind of start of, they did, of what we did because of that we, we, we opted their work and we changed instead of having this static, I'm sorry, this binary features, we use it as uh, continuous features and based on that we connect our network. You are talking about this slide? Yeah. They, oh, okay. They had to, they had to, to, to model the number of links and degree distribution. They had it as an input. The number of links in our work? No, it's not the input. The, okay. the number of nodes is the, one of the inputs. With LFR? In the, L, in the LFR? You can just say how many links. That's right. That's right. But in LFR, they don't use the uh, the statistic like to clone our their network. The, what they care about is just to have the features, as they said, the same number of links, the same. But what we have like in you is that we have a statistics, and since we don't have the real network, we use this statistic to generate the network that we think look like the real one. So this is, this is the contribution of our work. Yeah, thank you very much for the presentation. Covered most of the parameters. What are the uh, <coughs> factors and parameters that one would be interested in networks in general, and in particular social networks, mm -hmm. is the amount of information shared between nodes. How do you model that into this? Uh, I'm not sure if I understand your question. Two nodes. Okay. For th in, a, in a complex network, take three nodes. Then okay. Nodes will be transacting. They will be sharing information. What exactly. Information shared between those three nodes. Exactly. This is but what exactly you know, what we did. Social network person A communicates with person B, and also will be communicating with many other people. That's right. What's the information transfer, the direction of the information flowing? How do you bring that into this model? So, so if I understand your question, so you are asking about how we connect the node based on their similarities or their sharing interest, right? Okay, so what, this is exactly what we did. That what we, like after uh, having our attributes later, we, we would say which node look like this, the same as like, if you have a, like, inter, uh, like if you said you have the compact skull and you, there's another node has the compact skull, I'm talking about the game kind of things. So like if, if, you, if you're 
you are uh, like very similar to that node. That means th there's a link go going to establish between you and that person. So this is the way. Exactly. Exactly. So we are so connecting the nodes. Is That's you, right. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Sorry, due to the time limitation. Sure, I, I understand. Okay, we can talk during the break if you want. Oh, okay. Thank you so much.